Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time come across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell icon. It will be the only way that you'll be motivated or will be updated when I upload a new video. Remember, it's Max from the Next Creation TV and I'm trying to share a little bit of my experience when I came uh, in the Gulf in Qatar here as a uh, uh, first time as a security guard for the two years contract that I completed with the company until uh, alone I had to open up my brain one way or the other. So remember, now we've looked at parts where I looked at, we looked at uh, my first experience at work, arriving in Qatar and at work, then um, part two of uh, my life experience, then I talked about uh, the first time uh, shopping, where shopping and cooking, uh, that was uh, uh, getting to grocery. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at my life experience as a security guard uh, regarding accommodation, laundry and company transport. It's quite very interesting. Hi guys, by the way, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Place the subscribe button, by the way. Do not forget to hit the bell icon. You'll always be updated when I upload a new video. And don't forget to give up the video the thumbs up. It will motivate me to make more and more content for you, such as we can try to share up together in one way or the other. Right. In today's video, we are going to look at two parts. First of all, we are going to look at accommodation, we are going to look at laundry and company transportation. What happened to me as the first time I came as a security guard? You know, sometimes when we come to these Gulf countries, we remember we have expectations uh, versus the reality. And apart from that, we also look at uh, what is being told us to being told to us by what we call the recruitment agencies. So remember, those recruitment companies in your company, in your country, in your home country, they are also doing what you call marketing strategies. They do marketing strategies from themselves and they'll probably tell you whatever kind of souls, they'll tell you a lot of stories, they'll tell you a lot of things and even those things that you do not coexist at that time. But remember, if you're so lucky enough that you you likely find what is being told you as it is when you come to this side then you must say you, i must say you must be very lucky and that is indeed being very lucky in that situation or being lucky in that time so what happened this time when you look at accommodation uh, laundry and also look at company transportation so first of all i didn't know that even bowling bowling only uh, I didn't know bullying is only in boarding schools when you way back in my school time where you would find a very big boy uh, bullying a very small boy it's like try to do this if you don't do this we shall take and whereby you will go to a room and someone has to give you uh, a lot of instructions will like I say because you're very new people look at very new and they know now this one is very blank so what you do this person should do all this and sometimes uh, in some of these companies also this do exist and those do happens for those that have come to this company for the first time you know they do exist because remember in this company uh, much as like in schools you may have different nationalities at one time where we're being controlled you can uh, you have a right to report to someone is boarding giving this but in this company it's a multinational where you find very many people coming from different cultures and very many people coming from additional nationalities and if you're so lucky enough that you may end up sleeping in a room where you are all from the same nationality. That is well and good. Uh, you'll find you'll be sharing the same language. But remember still, even if you're sleeping in the same room and you're from nationalities, at this time, people don't want to know so much because everyone, everyone, each, of, each, each person is on his own and each of those persons you're sleeping with in the same room have reasons why they came and they have their targets and motives at the same time. So this is exactly what happened to me with the first time I came in the accommodation. I came in the room, I was given my mattress, I was I was given my bed sheet, I was given my pillow to look for where to sleep. Uh, remember, remember, uh, you sleep in what you call decas, more, more or less similar, almost similar like in the boarding school where you have to sleep in decas. And these decas are one, two. Uh, there are two hike, one hike, two. That is one and a half. So remember, 
you have to take up one space depending on how many people are there and normally uh, with accommodations here in uh, the Gulf in the Qatar or accommodation room when you go to a good accommodation you may end up you are sleeping four each one on a separate bed depending on the room or uh, six each one on a separate room or some other uh, companies some accommodation what I don't want you to expect that you can't sleep on a single bed or like you can't sleep like a king or your queen you probably what you will find is that you will find up yourself that you are sleeping uh, maybe even eight people in a room and uh, their decas of one two one two one two and uh, that is on four which gives you a total of eight people but remember to some extent uh, you remember we are all not of the same size some are big some are fat some are over kilo some are some are very small some are very slim so this is where now the fight the start comes from uh, exactly what happens to me is that I come and uh, luckily enough I managed to enter first my always my own target is always I always want to be the first and always want I don't want to be the best but always want to be the first so as soon as it entered like this since uh, my experience living in the boarding school uh, sleeping down is better because you have more ample space down you and you can also cook, put everything you have down you. so as I entered I booked I put what we call a space for me and that was the downer space for me I put my mattress and my pillow I slept there for the first time so you know when you're working in security uh, or when you're working in this job in the girls we have different shifts there are those that work in the morning shifts and those are working night shifts I didn't know that the person who was sleeping or the people that were working night shift uh, I thought we are the only people in the room because uh, you know they had beds and uh, when I tried to ask the camp boss he told me no these people are this one is on uh, he will come back later but i didn't know my neighbor had reserved a smaller bed for a friend that was coming and for him he was sleeping on the other side so when he came he was a little bit bigger than me uh, he was a little bit bigger and fatter than me and you know he was so long had stayed in the company because he was already three years old in the company and that's what i would tell you that normally the bullying will always be there much as you may look at people are big people but the bullying and the rest of those also are there in these companies or in these accommodations that we did not know at one time of time so i put my bed i put my mattress so this is the time i was supposed to work and uh, we went to work i left my bed laid up and when i came back this guy was telling me Brother, you remove your bed. You are going to sleep up. My friend is going to sleep here. You already booked up the bed. I was like, no, but I was the first, you know. You, you, you're a little bit being lenny, you're a little bit being polite, and you're like, you don't want to cause trouble, and you don't want to fight. Remember some, one of, uh, uh, one of uh, the rules they tell you, fighting here is not allowed, and, uh, you know, when police take you, they will deport you back. So, to avoid all those ones, I was like, but I was the first. He was like, no, you are very small. Sleep up. I was like, ha. Huh. This is where it begins from. This is where the trouble comes from. So I, I didn't want so much to fight, and I was like, okay, okay, fine. I had to shift my beds a little bit old in the company, a little bit big. So I felt a little bit, uh, I felt a little bit very bad, but I was like, okay, I have to accept the challenge, and out of that, you accept the challenge and you go. So it was super, 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 super annoying for me, and uh, I ended up not greeting him every time. I was like, I would be keeping quiet in the room, and uh, so like that, until I was changing the room and taken to another accommodation where we had different uh, 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 location uh, they had to shift us with the items you remember when you come to these Gulf countries you're like soldiers every time you be ready to pay, be ready to move or to shift and carry all your belongings to a new area uh, when it came to load to laundry uh, I thought everything would be done for me where they would wash for me they would do everything for me and uh, iron for uniform for me you just wash like you're in your home and just press and throw there then after they will give you back uh, it was a totally different case uh, this is where we went and there was only one free machine for you to wash your clothes you only had to line up and uh, you'd wake up in the middle of the night to line up and probably 
Oh, what you will do, you will, you will add your uniform, you will, you will pair up two people and put your uniforms together. Because remember, one of the requirements, you have to be smart and you have to be looking good. So that was also a very good big challenge for me, but I got to learn a lot of things. First of all, I learned how to use the washing machines, uh, which is uh, electrically and leave alone this small washing, the more modernized washing machine. I, I learned how to use that one and I learned how to hold myself wherever there was a need uh, not to get out of hunger. Because this is what exactly happened to me. It was a life experience. I know most of you will have been asked this. Like, so like, I was like, this time I was not willing to wash my hands, uh, to wash my clothes using my hands, you know, because normally, you know, people coming from Africa are coming, we are used to washing with hands. And, and I was like, this time I need to explore. So uh, there was a friend that was like, ah, no, we can add our clothes together since we're on the same line, then we can wash together. I didn't know his clothes were more dirty than my clothes. That is something I forgot. So. When it came to finishing up, since I was not here, I would not wait for the time we put, we put one hour and 30 minutes, thinking that if we put longer time, it's going to wash super clean and super bright white. I was like, ah. So he knew the machine better than me, so he put longer hours, two hours. So I would not wait, I had to go and as I prepared for to come and back. Unfortunately, coming back, he removed white uniforms, he removed my new uniforms and left for me old uniform. You know, the accommodation is so big that there are very many people living in the accommodation. So I was like, where can I start from to look for this person? I, I cannot start. He took the white claims. He took the clean uniform and left for me the dirty uniform. Remember, you you one week in the company, but all your shirts are very dirty. And everyone, when I put on the shirt because I was supposed to go to it, everyone was looking at me. And everyone was like, you are new and you are dirty. I was like, I felt a little bit ashamed of him that time. And until when I had to, to talk to you know, the camp boss and talk to the immediate supervisors, I explained to them good enough they understood because they knew I was they knew the company. And they were like, one of them even told me and told me, brother, you should wake up, stop sleeping. Uh, this is not your mother's home. You should be very careful. And then he gave me another shot. So I got to learn a lot of lessons. I got to learn a lot of... Uh, uh, things at that time and I knew I was on my own at that time and live on being on my own at that time and I was like I needed to be a little bit super bold and be uh, really active whatever because I definitely what came in my mind is that no one is your friend here you need to be alone and you need to be uh, very protective of your property at that time then another one is uh, when we look at car transportation in a company, uh, company transportation, remember most of these uh, uh, jobs or companies, they have what we call uh, company transportation. They do give transportation to their workers from their work to their area of work and from area of work to uh, where they sleep. That's what we call the accommodations, the workers' accommodations. And this is exactly what they wake up. I so wake up in the morning, depending on what particular group of people, you wake up in the morning, then you go to the bus and you park in the bus, then it will take you wherever you want. So what happens to me uh, with the experience, and I still remember that time, and I even wanted to get off myself, but remember, when I remember they told us about police and everything, so I was like, I'm new to, I'm new to the country. I don't want to get trouble. I don't want to go back my country because I already made a decision to come here so i was like I, I i don't want to go so this is the time we wake up in the morning 5 30 we're supposed to go for the morning duty it was from 5 5 30 until 5 30 so i entered the bus i didn't know it was my first time to go to that location and sit in the bus uh, i didn't know what i didn't know i just entered i put my bag inside i sat well, well knowingly like a newcomer is always time uh, is always is always good at keeping time so i went to the bus 30 minutes earlier than the normal time to go. So I sat in the bus, waited for other people to come. And uh, one driver told me, you knew here? I say, yeah, I think I was coming from Nepal. I say, you are welcome. I was like, okay, thank you, brother. I said, where we are going? He said, wait, you'll see. Remember, this loads at this location, you may end up like, maybe for example, you are, you are working from an area that is uh, in the vicinity of 25 kilometers, but that will take you like around maybe 10 or 15 minutes because the roads are so are so wide that even the speed at which cars drive is terrifically and they drive so long a time, so uh, at a very terrific speed. So when I sat in the car like this, I was like, I waited. So this is where this fat guy comes in as like, again, another fat guy is like, he comes in so strong, you know, and he said, Please, brother, this is my seat. I was like, no, but I came first. 
Because me, I thought it first come, first come, first serve. Since it's a company camp, there's no one who has a permanent seat and there's no one name that is written on top of the wall, on top of the, or, or the seats that this is your seat. So I said, it's like, uh, he made a lot of drama, move away from my seat. I told my brother, I want to sit near the window. Because my intention was to sit near the window, to peep outside the window and see how this country was created and how this country that we normally we only heard about uh, on TV, uh, watching Algezira, talking about Doha, talking about Qatar, uh, living. Uh, when, 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 when we opened Google, I wanted to see how it looks like. That's why my intention was sitting on the window. So, um, but my plan all was made all in vain, but he shouted at me, uh, he made a lot of drama, he, he put my back away, he, he told me, and I was like, he was bigger than me, so I would not fight him, I would not get back to him. So, uh, I removed my back, I sat, a seat where in the middle, you know, the middle seat that keeps on moving, moving. so I, I, I end up knowing that uh, that was not a very good experience and um, it was not a good treatment. Much as other people would talk to him, remember in that bus I was only alone, the new one, and all other guys were also definitely, you know what it was, it was like they would keep on supporting him because they knew him better than me. So uh, his uniform alone is uh, he's being in the company for a long period of time, that one alone, uh, it was just enough for him to be at, at a bigger position than me at that time. So. What happened was like I had to leave the seat and I had to get off so until you get to the work. So uh, when from the t the time coming back, so I was since I had the first experience in the morning going, I had to wait for everyone to sit until I sat because I, I did not want to have any convenience or any embarrassment that I had in the morning. So that was what I expected. I was like, sometimes you find the expectations versus the reality and some of these things do happen. But how do you get to cope up with such kind of things when they do happen? Is that you need to be a little bit resilient. You need to be that person who is uh, down to earth for you to move and progress to the next level. Otherwise, if you bring in a lot of hunger, you get to extreme words, you may end up not being good for you and being frustrated and gaping, uh, actually uh, cursing why you came to this country or why you meet this person. Because we meet people of different nationalities and people of different areas coming together and they all came to war because they have the reasons why they came. So it was really bad experience. But after some time, I just came to learn a lot of lessons. And after some time, I go to, to know what exactly it was and what I needed to do at that time and it was he taught me a lot of stories that so anyone that is coming to Qatar you know that or anyone is coming to these Gulf countries when or you know the life experience I went through just share my life experience with you and you probably just go and tell you what you should do and to just give you uh, some guidelines that uh, in case I get to come this is what I have to do and this is what I have to go through. So thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so by the don't keep, forget to give the thumbs up if you think the video is something that you learned from this video. Thank you so much. Uh, see you again in the next video and see you. Thank you for supporting Mix and support Mix um, by clicking the bell icon or tapping or uh, hitting the bell icon and subscribing to this channel. See you again in the next video. It's Mix Creation.